Hi guys, today we're going to look at some short turn variations. But before that, please smash the like button as I'll donate 50% of the YouTube revenue to 4 Paws. Your small action will improve the life of this little fluff, so why not? <clears throat> Back to the video. This channel is about racing and not casual skiing. Why would you show that? Well, I'm glad you're asking. There are several reasons why short turns are very useful for skiers indeed. And here are some of those. The first reason is that short turns make sure that you're able to move the skis around quickly in a controlled manner, uh, which is something we as racers need to do quite frequently. Maybe not in the exact same manner, but there are similarities between short turns and brushed entrances into carved turns. The second reason is that they are a great way to improve your balance because doing a lot of turns in a very short time is like jumping on a trampoline. If you're leaning too far back, it won't work for you in either situation. The third reason for practicing short turns is that it makes you aware of the importance of the knees as a way to get your skis onto the edges. The reason I'm a huge fan of short turn variations is because they are really helpful for disentangling your legs in your brain. I know that's a weird way to put it, so let me try again. In order to move your legs independently from one another, your brain must recognize them as two separate entities, and short turn variations do help a lot with that. Good, so now that we've clarified why you might want to pay attention, let's look at these short turn variations one by one. The first one I usually start out with is called, and there might be a much better name for them, tippy tappies. The idea is simple. You first lift the tail of the old outside ski and throw it into the next turn. The old inside ski follows. That's quite simple to understand, but not that easy to do. The second short turn variation is called the Norwegian. If you're not happy with that name, let me know in the comment section. The Norwegian is similar to the tippy tappies but here we lift the new outside ski completely and now we also lift the new inside ski. Then we put the new inside ski down first and the new outside ski follows. This looks a bit more complicated and certainly is more difficult, so don't get discouraged when practicing. The next variation is called the dolphin and you might understand why. Both tips are coming off the ground first and then both tails too. Then you put the ski tips back down and finally both tails are going back down. Uh, this is somewhat different from the first two as both legs are being used the same way. Nevertheless, it's a nice variation encouraging ankle movement. The fourth one I'm showing here has no name I could remember, so I'll name it the Austrian. The Austrian is not too hard. You lift the new outside tip and the new inside tail. There is also the reverse Austrian, and you guessed it, the idea is to lift the new inside tip and the new outside tail. Now the last variation is again quite different, and it's simply short turns with one ski. Not too easy either, but with some practice, very doable. And that's a wrap, baby! Six short turn variations you should totally know, and you should totally try. Have fun trying them, and let me know if you there are some exercises that I should have included here that I haven't. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for leaving a like on the video for our furry friends. And as always, have a great day.